KSI. Oh, this will be good. While KSI's online career Oops. has had its fair share of controversy, 2024 has become the year that he has completely ruined his reputation beyond repair. From being called out for involvement in crypto schemes, yesterday, he accidentally exposed the pump and dump crypto scams that he promoted. To staging a complete meltdown after a horrible song release. Oh, if yeah, dude. If was different, it would be better, right? It's actually my the most liked comment on the... <laughs> music video it's got more likes than my actual music video it's no wonder ksi's online presence has been bro he actually crashed out so bad on that dude in that video he should have never uploaded that he's giving every single person what they want and that's just the hate and the hate and the hate it's so funny been on a steep downward trajectory. However, oh wait, I actually didn't know this. The iceberg, as KSI's response to the situation has only yeah, added yeah, yeah, yeah. and turned anyone that was left against him. What happened to YouTubers, man? I cannot say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. Yeah, yeah. This is benefit their life. This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. Do better. Hi, I'm the internet analyst. Yeah, 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 bro, he's YouTube actually whining. Documentaries, and today, we'll be examining the crumbling reputation of YouTube's greatest trash talker, KSI. Throughout his 15 is he, years on YouTube, is he the greatest KSI trash talker? Several different styles and strategies when it comes to content creation. What? From gameplay videos to comedy skits and even mainstream television. KSI's eccentric personality and willingness to expand his horizons has allowed him to build a platform that boasts over 24 million. Four million subscribers. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah. From the screen to the ring to the pen to the king, bro. That's his bling, bro. KSI's over the top online persona has brought him unparalleled success in the platform. It has also spawned considerable amounts of controversy, getting banned from Eurogamer, backlash for using gamer words in his videos, and heated feuds with other creators and his brother Deji are just a few examples of KSI's ego landing him in hot water. Even though KSI was able to walk away from these incidents with no lasting consequences Wait. for his career or. Wait. He used the gamer word? I don't remember that. I don't. I didn't remember that. I never watched KSI in the first place. So. Fan base. His unchecked ego would continue to get the better of him. A good example of this was KSI's response to the first loss in his boxing career at the hands of Tommy. Oh, man, KSI, your thoughts after that robbery? It's a robbery, bro. How many jobs did he land? How many jobs did you land? You didn't get any hardly any shots off. Um, and you got a point off as well. I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing. It came out to my hands around, but I was pushing the pace. I was throwing the shots, and I was the one put with it. Unable to accept defeat, yeah, yeah. he would make a long-winded response to the match and tried to use every method imaginable to downplay Tommy's victory. In terms of the Tommy Fury fight, yeah, I feel like I've come out better. <laughs> Way better than he has. Like, I'd much rather be in my position than his. I mean, it's nice to know that my fight with Tommy Fury will be the biggest fight you'll ever have in his life. <laughs> Even if he fights anyone Yo, else. Yo, bro, the cope is real. <laughs> Even going as far as taking jabs at Tommy's personal life. And to be honest, up, bro. Tommy Fury has been pretty embarrassing these past few weeks. From him being with Chris Brown, having zero rhythm, <laughs> looking hella awkward, to him attempting to dance. Bro, it's so jealous. Over what? Whatever this clip is. All while Molly May is looking after his kid at home. Even though the results of the match were rather divisive, KSI's reaction only served to make him look like more of a wow. loser. A fact his viewers quickly pointed out, with comments that read, Always been a KSI fan and wanted him to win. But after seeing the way he oh reacted to losing, I'm happy he lost. Now I'm older, I understand what Deji was saying about KSI being egotistical. He's also a master manipulator Bro, to twist his fans' opinion. He thinks his song is like the best thing to ever release. Of course he's egotistical. What, what do you mean? As well as, a wise man once said, being a sole loser is even worse than being a loser. Fortunately for uh, him, true words, man. before Can viewers forgot say... about KSI's arrogant rambling and moved on to other things. However, it would soon become apparent that KSI hadn't learned from his mistake, as his overinflated ego and inability to handle criticism were about to wreak more havoc on his reputation in ways he could have never yeah, imagined. Yeah, yeah, lunch By the 15th of February 2024, an online investigator, CoffeeZilla, would put oh. KSI under 
the microscope with a video titled Case I Accidentally Exposes His Crypto Scams. He accidentally Bro, exposed I hate that this was a year of like major crypto scams, dude. Why are you guys promoting such an easily like like see throughable product that that like everyone knows is just a pump and dump? The pump and dump crypto scams that he promoted. They've been hidden for two years, but only came out when KSI logged back into his old Twitter account, saying, does this still work? Oh now, my God. Know, this is KSI's crypto account where he used to talk about crypto coins he liked, but he messed up because one investigator has been waiting for him to return to the scene of the crime. Uh... And that person is not me it's zach xbt a crypto yeah, this guy's always on, on something went right. on to show how zach confronted ksi on his previous shady crypto deals and promotions now many people including myself hadn't seen anything from ksi to this point that seemed shady but right. Zach had been waiting for this moment yo bro w on. zach remember when ksi posted this all of a sudden my x cad bag is looking juicy again hodl gang then proceeded to dump $850,000 worth of XCAD over the following days from his wallet address. As well as sharing proof of KSI selling tokens that he publicly claimed to hold. Zach also shared a picture as proof. Series of wow. transactions from KSI's wallet were starting on March 27th when he sent that tweet. KSI started selling XCAD. The same day he tweeted he was part of the HODL gang, slang for someone who wouldn't sell this crypto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, that wasn't the only Diamond time hands. KSI has mentioned this holding stance publicly. I'm holding my bags. <laughs> I'm holding my Luna, my x cad <laughs> Videos like this are why people genuinely thought KSI was just buying and holding, but he wasn't. To get some clarity on the situation, CoffeeZilla contacted KSI Bro, the scams are the unreal. allegations, and he had this to say. The HODL gang, LMAO sold some profit as well as my own money to put into luna thinking i would profit more to buy back more xcad then took a major l still fully believe in xcad the ability to earn from watching content honestly you should talk to redacted he's very excited about this project okay i never left crypto i've just been watching it from the shadows it's kind of hard to leave when you've invested so many years into it he then shared a personal account screenshot showing that he does have some xcad still held it doesn't really change the core accusation of whether he pumped and dumped his fans. While there was some plausible deniability if KSI was involved in only one crypto scheme, it becomes a lot more difficult to believe his story when he was involved in the same scheme twice. But then I got twice? another message which changed everything from Zach. He said, I have one more KSI example with a different coin. Turns out on March 20th, 2021, KSI tweeted this. Two NFT coins I'm very bullish on. Super oh, and bro. Earth. No, not, dude. Not the NFT era, man. Not the NFTs. Any other NFTs I should look at. Oh now, normally, when you're bullish on a coin, you buy that coin. But that's not what KSI did. See, right after he tweeted that, six hours later, he sold $174,000 worth of earn tokens. And then four hours later, sells another $174,000. Now, if that isn't a textbook pump and dump, I don't know what is. When questioned about the second crypto pump and dump, but KSI replied with this statement. He said, oh, I made I like 400 really grand. The details of every transaction I made. These were coins I put my own money in, thinking they would do well. I would listen to what people said on Twitter and just follow stuff. I invested in Doge, etc. I didn't have malicious Earn intent bucks. in trying to scam. <laughs> I was new to crypto, so I was excited, putting money in random things, and trying to chase the pumps, and ultimately lost heavily. I hope people didn't take advice or tweets as gold, because looking back at my track record, I was effing dog shit. I wish I was an evil genius that would pump and dump at the right time, because then at least people would say that I had some wit about me. Reality uh -huh. is, I was just shit at crypto. In addition to this, KSI claimed that the contradiction between his tweets and trading behavior was due to being trolled by the market. And I said as much, okay. I said, I'm just trying to understand why you traded the opposite way that you were saying on Twitter. And KSI replied this, because I thought I was getting trolled. Honestly, every time I tweeted something, the opposite would happen on the market. So I decided to tweet the opposite of what I was actually doing and still took an L. He thought the market was against him, so he publicly said one bro, thing. Bro, bro, dude, uh, dude thought there was a huge conspiracy against his Twitter, bro. What? No, oh, that's cap. Secretly doing the opposite 
which is kind of the definition of a pump and dump right you promote that to a big audience the holes in KSI's story would only continue to get larger as Zach revealed yet another obvious example of dishonest activity meanwhile though while I was confronting KSI I heard a final response from Zach XBT. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He More. Said, I found another. Example. Oh my God. See, on May 11, 2021, KSI Crypto tweeted, "This is about to explode." Only moments later, though, he uh, sold yo, bro. twenty-five thousand dollars. Didn't buy it, which I get it. It's a relatively small amount, but it furthers that same pattern of behavior. Not long after these allegations were made public, another member of the crypto community and fan of KSI by the name of Vipo published a 38-page document defending him, as well as offering counters oh my to the tweets God. that KSI has white knights? No, bro. Not after, not after being in the thick of it, man. Not anymore. Not anymore, dude. The main argument of the document was that KSI wasn't a serious trader and had lost money on several occasions. Reading, KSI had no reason to pump and dump the coins, and KSI did not pump and dump any coin. But the false allegations and half-truths were shared in such a way to make it look like KSI has scammed his fans. But in actuality, he did not scam any of his fans, but has himself lost a lot of money in his trades. I think, I think the difference is, is that he has the capability of losing the money so if he takes a big hit on what he thinks is you know going to do bad in his scenario why would you sell instead of just holding and wait till it gets a little bit bigger than than uh taking then rather do that than take a loss it doesn't make any sense he has the money to lose so he, he's not making a huge deal out of it but the people that like invest based off what he says that's a little bit of a different story obviously you are responsible for your own financial advice, you know. But stop stop investing in what YouTubers tell you to invest in. Yeah, it's it's dumb on their part. But I mean it it's like they they're able to lose any amount of money, especially like in KSI's predicament, right? He can he can afford to lose the, the money. His fans, they're not able to lose the money. They're doing it because they think it's like a serious deal to where they can put money in and it's going to get bigger and better because KSI is pumping more into it. So it's supposed to, you know, go up like stocks do. Don't take advice from YouTubers, I guess. Even though it wasn't clear if KSI had traded maliciously Gosh. or not, CoffeeZilla would later put forward the notion that influencers should be held accountable when promoting a financial That is product. true. That, like, if a public influencer with a, a, a lot of followers promote something and they say they're bullish they say they're excited they say they're hodl gang and they sell that's a pump and dump yeah to illustrate his point that is a, that is without a doubt a pump and dump share more messages of him telling ksi how much of an impact he had on the market i shared with him the volume calculation i had done based on an aggregate of a bunch of different crypto exchanges showing that um xcad's volume went up because one thing he told me he's like look i I hope people didn't actually take my tweets. And I said, this X is well, yeah. trading volume. The red arrows are right after you tweeted, people dumped in money. Trading volume spiked by millions of dollars multiple times. Whether or not you realize it, you have insane influence more than most Yeah, bro, we'll it's the same thing that happened with like Kai. Obviously way two different scenarios, but like in terms of in terms of uh, influence and, and how they calculate their own influence, right? They don't know. You can maybe play it off as oblivious but after it's happened so many times with ksi i don't believe he's doing it off uh his own like ignorance like kai invited uh, saying he was doing a meetup he's done something like that in the past but like not you know three thousand people showing up and and wrecking havoc in new york like that's that is like the amount of influence some people don't realize that but i i have a feeling that KSI definitely knew because he's done this so many times, right? So the second he tweets, everything goes up. Noting it like this is bad, whether or not you have ill intentions. Despite CoffeeZilla's attempt to present this that situation in good faith, KSI would respond on stream Bro, by trying to- Dude, KSI should just not, he should not be on stream, bro. He should, he should uh, react to it in private and watch it back. He should watch it back to make it to, to where like he actually can see what he's yapping about and whether it comes off as hostile or not. Bro does not understand that 
it's like, bro, he overreacts every time, bro. He doesn't go in with a cool, calm, collected head. To frame him as a cloud chaser. Well, like, honestly, it's it's kind of mad how <laughs> Kobezilla has made not one, not two, but three videos on me. And I haven't even responded yet. In addition to this, KSI argued that he was too rich to participate in crypto okay, schemes or bro. scam anyone. But I, I don't know. That is not an excuse. Look at the FaZe house. Look at FaZe in, in, in general. I mean, they, they did several scams for 30,000 bucks. Like, for 30k. They they were willing to scam their entire audience for 30k, bro. It, just because you're rich does not mean that you you can't participate or try to scheme a crypto scam. Why would I scam? I turned down millions and millions and millions of deals, uh, like tens of millions of me to do I don't know some gambling stuff. So why would I go <laughs> on crypto? Bro, it's not funny. Pump it up. <laughs> why are you laughing? Why are you laughing uh, when you're when you're being exposed to hot water, bro? Like, why are you laughing? For what? Instead of properly addressing the allegations, case this is why people don't like you. His critics and his viewers no. wouldn't hesitate to call him out on it. With comments reading, I still don't understand why JJ would sell hours after tweeting to buy the crypto. This response addressed none of Coffeezilla's points. Also, JJ's yeah. not gonna sue anyone. That's the most empty threat I've ever seen. As well as, mate, you've been hanging with Logan Paul too much. You literally tweeted about the crypto, but 15 minutes later, dumped. You do realize that is the definition of a pump and Dumb. That is Sadly, literally this be the only instance of KSI's association with Logan souring his bro. relationship with his own fans. In the coming months, the two creators were about no, to collaborate no. on a product that only served to turn fans against them. By the 16th of September 2024, Lunchly. KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. Beast would launch a children's yeah. group product named Lunchly. They marketed the Is it is it marketed as a children's food though? Because even Lunchables isn't marketed for children's food right and i'm just trying to see like children's food product it's kind of iffy right obviously it literally has like a, a child's aesthetic but that doesn't matter the product is a healthy alternative to the already established lunchables with lunchly you get double the amount of liquid prime has no sugar added more electrolytes and more b vitamins crunch bar Whoa. feastables crunch yeah! Our pizza uh -huh. uses real cheese. Theirs, as it says on their box, is mozzarella pasteurized prepared cheese product. They can't even call it real cheese. As you'd imagine, people were skeptical of the product because of Mr. Beast's involvement and other blatantly unhealthy right. items, including- I don't think it was Mr. Beast's involvement, though. Like, let's be for real. His views aren't going anywhere. Mr. Beast is literally not going anywhere, dude the meal feastables and prime however that wouldn't be the only source of hate for their new product as popular youtube creator dan tdm pointed out something everyone knew but hadn't said with a tweet that read what happened to youtubers man i can't not say anything anymore this is just selling stuff for the sake of making money simple but how does it benefit their fans this is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them do better. The tweet would go viral uh, yeah, and spark yeah. a massive wave of criticism directed at both Lunchly and the creators behind it. From the concerns about the impact on children's health to the disapproval of the influencers' misleading marketing techniques, people held nothing back in their criticism of Lunchly. By the 22nd of Doof. September 2000, imagine someone named Doof saying, We're not buying your product. 24, KSI could no longer bear the hit to his ego over the oh, dude. Lunchly and defended the product in a video titled, Everybody Hates Us Right Now. So this is what I said. Looks like crap to me while showing his toys that he sold to kids. <laughs> How does this benefit? Oh, yeah, it, dude, it has to be forced laughter at this point. It has to be forced. Fit your fans, Dan. <laughs> now, obviously, people didn't realize that I was sh shining a mirror in his face instead oh like, right uh, right wait right. you did the same as dan you made uh, toys with tube heroes and yes that's fair but i'm not the one complaining KSI would then go uh, yeah, on okay. about how Dan TDM had sold food products to children before and that what he was doing was, was no he, different. Did, wait, wait, did, did Dan sell them or was he just testing out the the brand of like boxes, at, uh, the snack box that came to him? 
as well as cherry picking negative responses from viewers and claiming they were representative of Dan's entire audience. I'm Munchin, pretty sure, to my understanding, Dan he was just it, testing snacks. I made a whole video on Munchpack, a monthly sub box full of food and candy to his Minecraft audience full of kids. Uh, right. His fans imploded. <laughs> Some just decided just to be racist. Yeah, it's cool. It's 11 p.m. <laughs> when a nicker like KSI does nothing in life and still gets paid for it in something other than welfare or food stamps, it's noteworthy. It's like how monkeys in the jungle have started to understand the concept of tools. What KSI didn't seem to understand what? was that he was presenting Lunchly as a healthy alternative for children while only promoting the food product based on taste and satisfaction. Unfortunately, KSI already set his mind on the idea that the backlash was simply due to people hating on him, Logan, and Mr. Beast. I mean, there's probably some truth in that. I mean, let's be for real. There's probably some truth in that. I tried to, I tried to find Lunchly. It's not available where I'm at. So you guys don't get to see me eat it, bro. Uh, like, try it. Uh, I can't find it. It's nowhere close to me. Where was the same energy when Ryan Trahan really sweet? Where was the same energy when FaZe Rog really sweet? I'm not seeing people going crazy towards them on Twitter. You know why? I've realized why. It's because why? people just hate us. <laughs> people just hate us. People hate Logan Paul, okay? They hate Mr. Beast and they hate me. Naturally, viewers uh -huh. didn't support that idea and decided to show KSI what true hate looks like. The video yeah, received yeah, yeah, yeah. 200,000 dislikes <laughs> and the comment section was filled to the brim with people trolling KSI. Him fake laughing every 10 seconds just makes him look desperate. Yeah, yeah. KSI's ego has grown so much to the point where he actually believes that he hasn't done anything wrong, as well as bro's ego is bigger than his forehead. <laughs> Around a day later, a health professional named Dr. Mike would give his expert opinion on the matter and point out several nutritional concerns that were being over Looked. What I was able to conclude is that Lunchly has less sugar and therefore less calories than Lunchables in right. comparable kits. That's probably due to the drink component of the kit as Capri Sun uses sugar and Prime is artificially sweetened. Lunchly has significantly more potassium than Lunchables because of the Prime drink, which right. I guess is good but not something I'd regularly use in deciding if a food is an ideal lunch for a kid. But the entirety of the kit is still considered an ultra processed meal. On the subject of Lunchly, Dr. Mike would have this to say. Kids need energy to function and calories give them that energy. Lunchly turkey contains only 230 calories, which would mean a kid right. would need to eat about 2.7 portions to consume enough calories. And if they did that, they'd get nearly 1300 milligrams of sodium which is also significantly over the USDA standards. It's clear Lunchly, just like Lunchables, misses the mark too many times to be considered meaningfully healthier, at least in my opinion. Seeing the dubious health right. claims of Lunchly get debunked wasn't the only thing KSI had to worry about, as his next project was about to face even more hate and criticism. Around the end of September, KSI began promoting his new single, Thick of It. Oh, with God. strange marketing tactics. With a tweet reading, a lot has happened these past few days online, so here I am addressing uh -huh. everything below. Due to the misleading nature of the tweet, he was immediately hit with a community note that read, Not only is the link 100% misleading, which he tried to he tried to scam not only scam money but scam views on his newest song, bro. He's just he's just proving everyone who said he was a scammer right. Which breaks X guidelines. It's also a marketing tactic by WMG, who created the site that's using anger surrounding his controversies to promote his new single. Yeah. The same tactic was also used recently for the song, but with Jake Paul. Unfortunately Unreal. for KSI, no amount of marketing was enough to prevent the overwhelming oh, response to the yeah. song, as the YouTube release received over yeah. 1 million dislikes. To add insult to injury, one of the comments oh, under the video yeah. would receive more likes than the actual song <laughs> itself, something that KSI couldn't stand. If the whole thing was different, it would be better, right? Fantastic. This no. was literally, literally my top comment. If anything, it's actually <laughs> my the most liked comment on the fucking music video. It's got more likes than my actual music video. A comment, <laughs> 202,000 likes on this comment. Why aren't you liking the video? 
because it's garbage. Will endure similar treatment with over 30,000 dislikes. <laughs> the trolling and hate didn't stop there, as TikTok and YouTube were flooded with videos making fun of the song's lyrics and presentation. <laughs> New song yeah. is straight fire if you were to listen to it on fucking mute. I am being 100% dead ass when I say this. This is one of the worst songs I've ever fucking heard in my life. So you see the music video. All my ops getting it. You're not ready. Bro, who exactly are your fucking ops? Dan TDM? During Aiden Ross's stream, <laughs> KSL would have a knee jerk reaction when questioned about the audience's reception of the song. What do, what do you want to happen? What do you exactly? The, it's already out. Your song's already a meme. What do you want to happen now? What, what is I your just wanted to stop. I wanted to stop. I want people to stop making fun of my song. I understand, man. You don't fucking understand because you haven't really submitted a song before. Imagine, imagine putting Yo, your heart and soul into a project and then crash out. The world and everyone's going, ha ha. Ass. Trash. Bro, ain't Honestly. no way he put his whole heart and soul into it, bro. There's like five lyrics. There's like five lines. There's like five, five whole words. And then the rest of it is all chorus, bro. What does he mean he put his whole heart and soul into it? Into the ring, to the pen, to the king. I'm literally talking about every <laughs> aspect in my life. Currently, KSI is still getting hated over the hate towards the song, and it doesn't look like that will change anytime soon. <laughs> He's With a crashing reading, out. Generational haters everywhere. I'm so tired of it at this point. Just leave me alone. Oh, KSI dear. is the perfect example of a creator who's incapable of noticing <laughs> or learning from their mistakes. He couldn't handle the backlash from Saul losing after his fight with Tommy Fury, nor could he properly respond to the allegation of being involved in several crypto pump and dumps. Instead, KSI Bro. tried to protect his ego by hiding behind his insecure laughter and deflecting legitimate <laughs> arguments. That kind of behavior rarely goes unnoticed by the internet, and it was only a matter of time before KSI's <laughs> other endeavors were all hit with the hate he'd been avoiding. The hate he deserves, man. L let's be for real. Yo, W video. W. Bro's in the thick of it on God. Not bad, not bad.